Quite a unique match here, guys, as we're looking at a three-on-one affair coming up next. Yeah, and in the case of the one, you have to give points for bravery, though not so much for smarts. Look out, handicap action underway. Guys, unless there's some sort of minor miracle that takes place here, we're about to witness a complete massacre. Northern Lights! Nailed it! What's coming next? Suplex! Oh, nasty impact. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. technique here we go this might be it We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history. Seth Rollins is in position. Fighting for survival. Attack to the midsection. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And 
if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Harsh impact. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Irish whip. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Oh, what a forearm. Oh, nasty impact. Boom. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time. But one man is in the ring, and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, I'm going right after the neck. Big elbow. Irish whip. Boom, right in the button. Stop. Right across the spine. Axe handle finds its target. This might be it. Oh, my. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. You gotta believe this one's over. Thrust right to the throat. Slam down hard. That's using your head. That's using your head. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there is one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there is one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. Just wearing down the opponent. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause, and is something I don't condone. Sure, clothesline. We're going on the leg. Ooh, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Overhand right lands. Jarring impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Ooh. Oh. Beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. What a stomp to the back of the neck. Big punch finds its mark. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Oh, what impact. Oh, 
nasty impact. Tag made. Here we go. Oh, and a boot to the face. Nailed it. Ooh, what impact. Double axe handle smash. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Irish whip! What a clothesline! Ouch! Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw, and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars, because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Harsh impact. Boom! <laughs> Going for broke. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. This could be it. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Irish whip! Oh, what a knee lift! Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time, or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. What a stomp! Good grief! Ooh, what impact! No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Vertical suplex! Nice! In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. 
The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Suplex! You gotta believe this one's over! Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Boom! <laughs> Beautiful technique. Harsh impact. This might be it! Oh, my. Boom, what impact! Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder! Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, what a crash. Oh. In the face! Close line! Oh, there. my God, what an elbow. KO punch. Ooh, what a stomp. Good grief. The handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Oh, believe it or not, guys, despite being outnumbered, I think this superstar is going to surprise you here tonight. Boom, what impact! This could be all she wrote. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants opponent. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. I think this is the beginning of the end. We got a cover. Oh, good night. Sorry. Oh, Corey, he had loaded there. That's all she wrote for this handicap match. Big win here in this handicap match. Akam has authored a big win here tonight. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.